The blade with which Harley Davidson streamlined its cruiser lineup cut deep and wide with an entire branch, Dinah, finding itself pruned from the family tree. That's right, we lost the successor to the FXR family, and have only the soft tail lineup for cruiser work. Though we've lost an iconic family, that I never cared for, I should probably add. My target for today picks up the torch from a particular Dyna model that held a special place in the hearts of many, the Lowrider. Powered by the new to Cruiser's Milwaukee 8 engine with a total of 110 pound-feet of torque, the new agile soft tail frame brings here to four unseen performance to the family. Good thing too, since the MoCo is pinning its hopes for success in the Cruiser market on models like the new Lowrider. What else has Harley packed onto the ride? Read on to find out. They may call it a low rider, but it doesn't necessarily follow that it is, in fact, the lowest soft tail, cause it ain't. Seat height measures at a 27.2 inches high and laden, and a 180 pound rider should make the rear suspension squat another inch. Ground clearance measures at a 5.1 inches high, and just to give you perspective, the soft tail deluxe runs with only 4.5 inches of ground clearance with 0.4 inch lower seat height. Once you get past that and really look at the thing, the tines to the original from back in the 70s become apparent in the tank graphics and twin clock, tank mount instrument panel. The saddle seems to tie in as well, though I can't exactly qualify that impression. Maybe it's the look of